I was reading a lot about conflict minerals and knew that I wanted to tell that story and knew that I couldn't tell that story as a drama because it was just so heavy. And the players involved in that conversation are so absurd. Like, it's absurd what happens. So the play, it kind of naturally happened like, oh, this is an absurd situation. So if you, you play into that, you, you get a farce. There's two stories to tell. The one is the kind of a story pitch, which is moments before an international summit is supposed to happen in, a, in Central African Republic in Bangui, in this French colonial estate mansion. Thomas, the copper guy, has called on all these people to help him figure out a strategy to get the current regime out so he can get the mine up and running again. He has a heart attack moments before these people are supposed to come, but it just so happens his doppelganger from Minnesota, a kindergarten teacher, is on a walkabout and has come to visit him. So Rosie, who's the head of the household, uh, African, young, female, says you need to be him because this very important thing is about to happen and what you can do, what he couldn't do, was ensure some kind of provision that will uh, ensure that at least 75% of the local community will be hired, trained, and paid a fair living wage. And it's all it's very fun and ridiculous and there's electric wheelchairs and a stair lift and it's a lot of fun. And two live chickens and a chihuahua. But what also happens for me is going back to this idea of revolution and um, working class issues, um, the play is an indictment on the international community and allowing these things to happen and allowing the exploitation of indigenous peoples on lithium mines, uh, coal, gold, copper, blood diamonds, and uh, these governments and corporations allowing this to happen, and we allow this to happen. The lithium ion battery in our phone, when you follow that trail of blood back to its source, has uh, workers who are tortured, beaten, raped, communities devastated. We have yet another century, the 21st century, being built on the back of brown skin, and we need to address that, that we have all this amazing technology and in the West we have, you know, almost everything we could want, but yet underneath that is terror and there's, you know, it's in our pockets. So the play for me is about that, you know, is that a selling point for people to come? I don't know, I think they want to see a fun sex farce. So it's like a pig in a blanket and like the pancake is like this fun wacky thing. Or maybe it's like a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. I hope it's a full experience. I hope it. I hope you leave with a lot of flavors in your palate. And you have to talk about it afterwards. And you have to unpack it together. Because if you don't, if you just leave, if you've just been, some people want to go to the theater and kind of be fucked, kind of be jerked off. This plays an intercourse. It should be. We're gonna do this together.